Alrighty folks, it's Riley here and I'm back with another little video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the three die casts I got at Pocono Raceway. So um, you guys probably know what those ones are if um, you guys watch my Pocono Experience stream. Sub that up if you guys want to just hear like the stories about everything I got. Because um, I did go ahead and talk about that. But you could also hear some stuff that you guys probably didn't see in the Pocono vlogs if you guys watched those but didn't watch the stream. So anyways, let's get started. So the first scheme we have here is the 2001 Jimmy Johnson Power Pride car. That's right. We have Jimmy Johnson's first ever scheme he drove. Now, Lionel, come on, guys. This scheme... I mean, the car isn't bad. It's just that, like, the main issue I have about this one is that the decaling in this car is a bit wonky. Like, this is where the Chevy logo is. And then look at how wonky the freaking decals are on the front bumper here. It doesn't really look that great. The side, it's not bad. Glad to see all these old school sponsors that don't even sponsor a NASCAR anymore. Like, EA Sports, 3M doesn't even sponsor... A lot of old stuff there. Um, Power Pride over here, Lowe's. Uh, he's got his rookie stickers because this is his first ever car. All that. Now, uh, yeah. Um, it's not terrible, but the decaling on the front bumper definitely kills this car a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, that was the first car I got, which, it's not bad, it's just that comparing it to some other diecasts we've gotten, it's got some flaws to it. The decaling was pretty atrocious on the front bumper there, I gotta say that. So the next car we have is Jimmy Johnson's final ride. This was the final scheme he ever drove at Phoenix in 2020. Zoom in there a little bit. So here's the car. It's pretty nice. Um, I am, before I go over it, I was a little disappointed with the scheme. I mean, we have all these really unique Jimmy Johnson schemes. And all we get for this final ride that we got was Jimmy Johnson's 2020 scheme. But it was just a chrome, but it's just silver and chrome. Which, while I don't think it's bad, I still think it's a great scheme. It's one of my favorite schemes from 2020. I definitely think it was pretty disappointing for a final ride scheme. For a final ride scheme, I feel like this one was pretty disappointing, but I definitely wish he definitely ran this scheme more at the same time, except for maybe the final ride. Um, yeah, um, but overall, I gotta say, though, the scheme is still very nice, and there really wasn't any flaws with this car that I had. had it was really the first one, really. Um, yeah. So see here, it feels pretty nice as well. Looks very nice. Got the NASCAR Cup Series. That's the only car I have where that banner actually appears because um, I only got two normal 2020 schemes. I also have Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew car, the Zero Sugar one, which uh, that one doesn't have that one because I got that for a Christmas gift. And it was actually part of the NASCAR Authentics line. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but overall, the scheme is probably the high is by far the highest quality of the three, actually, because the last car I got, this one might be a shocker to you all, but I managed to pick it up. Chase Elliott's 2021 Napa Chevrolet. I love this scheme, actually, guys. Some people probably don't really like this scheme because they really don't like the yellow stripe there. I personally like it more. I personally like it more. I think it gives the car a little bit more, I don't know. Like, I think it just makes it look cooler. Cooler. Um, yeah, um, I definitely like the other one. I definitely like this one more than the 2018 one I have. Um, the 2018 one, the biggest issue is, is that, I don't know, I like the yellow stripe more there on that one. Plus, I don't know, the issue about the 2018 one is the blue. The blue just looks like this really navy, dark blue, which doesn't really feel like Napa. I'm used to, like, the bright, vibrant blue that they have. And while this one's kind of still a little bit more like a darker blue, 
at least in my opinion, looks a lot more Nappa like than the 2018 one that I have. So uh, yeah, but um, there's one reason why the the Jimmy Johnson one was a little bit higher quality. Look at that nice paint chip. And no, I did not even play with this car. No, I had that thing in my display for a couple for a little while. I take it out once in a while to look at it, but. I saw that out of the package, and I was like, are you kidding me, Lionel? I also did get Brad Kozlowski's car. Right underneath the Ford logo was a nice paint chip. And I took that right out of the box. I didn't drop it. I didn't do anything. I took it right out of the box. I was like, are you kidding me, Lionel? Like, seriously. You guys need to actually get your quality control going here. Who said that this paint chip right here was okay to pass and it's not the first time i've seen this this is all the time there always has to be a paint chip somewhere there always has to be a mess up somewhere this quality control that they that lionel has still needs to be fixed but uh yeah other than that paint chip the scheme is one of my favorite schemes that i got it's definitely up there for one of my favorite die casts that i have up there the scheme is very nice I overall say it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, those are the three cars I got. Um, It's very... They're all pretty... They're, in general, all the schemes are all very nice. And I love all three of these schemes. I got two Jimmy Johnsons because I mainly was on the lookout for some more Jimmy Johnson diecast since I know he retired. Retired because I know I'm just displaying the cars now, but I at least wanted to get that scheme there, the Chase Elliott one. I was on the lookout for that one. Thankfully, they had it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.